All right, everybody, we got another video with Vicky. Vicky the caravan here, and she is going to need. Hey, look, you can see me, cameraman. Anyway, she's going to need a new stereo. This one, it's Kenwood. It's pretty cool. Vintage, right? Probably about 20 years old. Still use Sirius radio. That was a new thing. It's a compact disc player in it, but uh, we don't listen to compact discs anymore. And I'm not paying for Sirius satellite radio. This is going to be installed. This was 20, this is actually less than $20. Got this at Walmart, one of the online deals. And it was uh, like 16 bucks. <laughs> and what's great about it, it has some good reviews actually. And what's great about it is Bluetooth. Welcome to uh, the Roaring Twenties, right? I mean, if it wasn't for the uh, light apocalypse of the COVID-19, <laughs> we'd be living in uh, some pretty cool times. And it's still pretty cool, all right? Just things are changing in the world. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you're in the depression of uh, the COVID-19 virus thing you might want to consider a 16 dollar <laughs> stereo uh blue t look how small it is too it just comes in this little box and uh yeah man i'm gonna install this up and and we can bump some tunes here in the vicky the, the 2000 caravan go ahead and take these knobs off you <laughs> like no you don't need to take any knobs off i'll show you how to do this and do it right all right here we go all right, so the first thing we're going to do is this little, uh, so you have this, you want to push that in, and you have this little thing right here. It's going to pop that out with a screwdriver. It's got little tabs in there, and it comes right out. And then you have these screws here. All right. Remove those. Gotta remove these two screws up here. In my 2005, I've done this, and it didn't have these screws up here. It just had a, two bolts down here, and then the whole thing came out. So, that's how that comes out. Kind of push it off to the side. You could also unhook these uh, back here. You have a couple of pigtails. You can remove this one. And that thing's in there pretty good. So we're just gonna move it over here. Off to the side. Like that, because this is what this is what we need to get to. So, a couple more screws here that hold in this plate. If you don't have a plate like this, you're going to need to buy an adapter, and there's most stereo stores sell them. Um, for example, if you have a stock stereo, here's a wiring harness kit that you'll need to order. I just Googled it. 2000 for mine. Uh, it's like from 1984 to 2000 you can get the uh, wiring harness. Nope, that's a newer, that's a newer one. Um, that's my 2011. I had a 2011 caravan as well. Um, but yeah, so you just go on to Amazon or Walmart. And this one, for example, is like eight bucks for the kit. And that's the wiring harness that goes into your stock stereo. Best Buy, if they install stereos, they usually have one of these. This looks like a half inch wrench is holding that in. And so, yeah, this one's already got a harness because somebody put a custom stereo in it already. It's pretty cool how they took a couple of uh, zip ties. You see that? Like a professional did this. This is not a professional. <laughs> so, try not to clip any wires while I'm in here. But I'm going to clip that... 
zip ties and release the wires. All right. So yeah, you got your front right, your rear right. See, they, and then on the wiring harness from the stereo. The thing you may want to do is disconnect your battery cable. Um, I'm not going to, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's helpful. And the reason why is this yellow wire is, uh, is usually live, okay? So there's a way to clip it and keep your battery connected where, you know, you're not risking uh, or an arc or blowing a fuse. Um, time to unbox. <laughs> we'll check out the wiring harness in a moment. But first, we must unbox. All right. Unboxing is a whole, a whole thing. So, again, this is the Car Duel. This is the brand uh, AM FM Digital Car Stereo with Bluetooth. And here we are. It's a small little unit. Got the uh, things here on the sides for that. It's in a baggie, which is probably full of COVID-19. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, this is boom. It's got uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. What, 16, 18 with tax. That's my stereo. And here's the wiring harness. And we're gonna wire that up. Just like it looks on the uh, the thing here. So this one doesn't have the handy dandy labels. Usually the, they're color coordinated, but you always wanna double check. And, it, and this one, it came with its own little manual. So we can find out what uh, red, see, and right there you open it up and boom. The, uh, can you see that? Yeah, that's what uh, red, blue, right? What they all mean. So all the speaker wires are gonna have, one's gonna have like a black stripe. So the green black stripe, uh, violet black stripe, right rear, you know, it's pretty, they're, they're pretty standardized nowadays. So left rear, um, yeah, the rear speakers are green and purple. It's usually how it is and uh, it's keeping to the standards. So what I'm doing now is they just kind of have these little things on them. You want to spin them, tighten them up. But each wire's got these little caps on it. You got to pull those off. Ugh. But first of all, the tools you're going to need for this crimper, uh, wire cutter clippers, right? I got these. I got my red ones that are in my my case down here. Got these at Harbor Freight. I got this whole box at Harbor Freight. These I got for like a couple bucks at Harbor Freight. And these are butt connectors. That's right, I said butt. And uh, that's the, the right size you should use for the job. I only have four, so I obviously don't have enough. But I have the next size up, uh, lots of those. So I'm gonna start connecting. So what I'm gonna do first is, this is the live one, traditionally. Cut it, yeah, I'm gonna strip it. And I'm gonna put a butt connector on it the blue one, the bigger one. And I'm gonna crimp one side. Like that. I'm an extra. And you always wanna pull on them, make sure they're tight. And that one's crimped and see, nothing's gonna to touch it. It's not gonna arc out. It's not gonna blow the fuse. So I, I usually like to start with that. Um, just to make sure. And then you go through your stereo wires and since the key is off, nothing else is gonna um, arc out, right? So I'm, I do like these little, so you got the Illumini, Illuminati, see that? The Illuminati is, it's a conspiracy, it really is. Uh, 
<laughs> so it's kind of a fun thing to this stereo doesn't have that 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 wire could be live too but i doubt it because it usually just illuminates whatever lights are on inside there um, when you turn the key on so we're going to cover that one as well just to be on the safe side all right red crimp and that's a uh, boom so then you just go through and you each wire and you connect it to your new handy dandy harness and that's how that's how that's done Is the right rear next to the antenna disconnecting all that and okay so on the back of my custom stereo you got these these are what hold in the, the piece right and then you got that it's got a little that one popped up and you have this little guy down here and you can just slide it off you usually have these little tabs and you have to Make sure that yeah, all those are pushed down and finagle it, finagle it on out of there, like that. So I got it out of there, and now I'm gonna put this one. Gotta make sure <laughs> the holes line up. You want to put it in upside down, right? There we go. And so this would be the top up here. Got some dirt on it, and we're gonna. Put, pop it in like this. So sliding it in. Is that a white snake song? Slide it in right to the top. So there's uh yeah, boom. Lots of space. Pop these little tab guys up like that so it stays in place. So it's got all of these. These are all popped up. See that? And then I, I noticed this. That might be important, right? Remove before installation. <laughs> Whatever that is. Any theft device? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> see? Anti shoplifting little thing in there. That's pretty, pretty smart, I guess. I don't know. All right, so now we're going to put in our new very modern uh, stereo it's got this antenna pop that what the heck is it hold on for all right well let's do this first so that plugs right in there like that I don't want to hear it click. Yeah. Oh, it didn't click. Make sure all it all goes down in there. I have to give it a push. There it goes. It clicked right in there. See, this wire is a power antenna. We don't have no power antenna. And they put uh, wax or rubber over it, which is nice. So, we don't need to really zip tie anything together because we got all sorts of space antenna goes in here it used to be in way in the back so popping it up in here is a bit more of a challenge and I've popped it in there antenna Having to come all the way forward. Make sure all our wires are back here. Oh, there's one. This one's got loose. I'm dipping down. How did that get through there? Make sure that all the 
those wires are up here. Well, maybe I did need to zip tie it. I don't know. There we go. Oh. That's right, I'm a flaws in the light kind of guy. <laughs> I put it in upside down. But the good news is it still slides out of this even though I've wired it all up in here. It's pretty identical on the other side. So you can just pop it out right here. See that there? And then on the other side and just flop it over. Stupid mistake, but not a big deal. Just go like that and pops right back in. See that? Piece of cake. Now we got it the right way. Lining the antenna back up again and it, boom, it slid right in there. Everything's in place. There we go. That's the, it's facing the right way now. Start to button it back together. There we go. And this one here. All right, I pop that back in. And before I put the last four screws in, I like to make sure, you know, that it works. I probably you know, I cinched those down, but it's a good idea. I'm pretty confident, but. Hey, look at that. Fires up. There's a radio. I'm to figure out how to dial that in, but it's turning on. Now I can button it up. And of course the trim, see this part here, put that up like that and pop it back in place. Oh, it popped out, god dang it. There it goes. Boom, like that. There it is, it's up and working. I got it turned all the way down so we don't get flagged for copyright, but yeah, it's got presets for the stations, but the coolest thing is Bluetooth. Oh, it's got FM3, AM, two AM stations. How do we get to Bluetooth? That's right, push this, no? See, I'm still figuring this thing out. So mode, Bluetooth on. So now, I pair it with my wifey's phone here. And it's looking for other devices. Bluetooth is on. All right, and there it is right there. Pairing the device. One, two, three, four is the pin code. Hitting pair. And, and it's connected, Bluetooth on. Huh? All right, and so we don't get flagged for copyright. Check it out. My wife rocking her 80s pop and rock playlist on Spotify here in the old 2000 caravan. All right, this uh, stereo syncs right up. This is from YouTube's. You might recognize this from my end screen, right? From uh, YouTube's copyright free music stuff. Gunnar Olsen, giving him a shout out and thanks for putting his music out there. So you can see how this uh, works. <laughs> I used that to hold my wallet phone when I was a Lyft driver. Pull it in and out of there really quickly. Anyway, here's my wife calling. And see this, it's calling in. You can either answer it here or you can answer it here. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi, love. I'm talking to you from inside the 2000 Dodge Caravan. There's my lovely wife. It's popped up on the screen, and this just works really well, right? Yeah, awesome. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. There she goes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's how you turn an old, an old vehicle into an updated vehicle. 
still rocking uh, Gunner Gunner Olson there. By the way. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. Lots more stuff in here to, to not just car stuff. All right. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you like. If this helps out in your life. Later. Thanks. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, and why not watch another video? Stick around.